You know who it is, everybody. I'm back, and this week I'm doing a U part wig using Hair Fleek's Silky Straight Vietnamese Hair Extensions. Check it out. For this wig, I used a styrofoam head, this U part wig cap that I found, but you can also use a weaving cap, two wig clips, weaving thread and a needle, scissors, a paddle brush, comb, and hair clip, a regular sewing needle, you'll see why later. And of course, four bundles of Hair Fleek Silky Straight Vietnamese Hair Extensions. Here's my braiding pattern. You may do your braiding pattern whatever way is comfortable for you, but be sure to have a thick, sturdy braid on both sides of your leave out, because this is where you'll hook the wig. I also left a bit of hair out along my hairline in case I want to pull the hair back. Be sure to try on your wig cap to either mark off where your leave out will be, or to make sure your leave out aligns with the U part cap. So we're going to thread the needle with a double knot at the end. Next, with the cap on the styrofoam head, start sewing. These heads tend to run a little small, or I just have a big head, so be sure to position the cap just as you would on your head. And our first track from the longest bundle is actually going to be stitched just under the cap around the perimeter. See more about my stitching method in my middle part bob sew-in video. And as you can see, this prevents any tracks from showing. Now I'm starting at the nape of the neck and I'm going to use the fold over method to avoid cutting any more wefts. Make sure you do not sew directly on this band or on the drawstrings. As it turns out, four bundles from Hair Fleek is plenty. Look how closely I was able to stitch these tracks, and I still had some left over. Now grab your regular sewing needle, I'm actually using a yarn darner, and stitch on your wig clips. There's no rhyme or reason for the stitching, just make sure it's sturdy.
and this is how it should look. Just clip it on, tighten in the back if necessary, and style as desired. Thumbs up if you like this tutorial and be sure to subscribe. Bye!